welcome back to my channel. This is the gorgeous Paige. So Paige is a model. She's so beautiful, isn't she? Oh my God, so cute. Anyways, let's get started. So excuse my big ass burn bandage, but I have a third degree burn on my arm. Anyways, we're using the P. Louise base. This will help stick on the jar collaboration with Be Perfect. Now, I just starting with this transition phase, pages going like, I think she was filming like a film clip or something for like that hooligan hefts people. P.S. Don't you just love Caitlin's editing? Like I did not edit any of this. I'm just doing the voiceover. Anyways, we need to blend it out. And then I'm using that smaller brush because I want to create that really like winged effect. And I want to pack in that darker color, which gives that like dramatic effect of the liner. You need to use that smaller brush to really like press it, press it, press it. And I'm using the other brush to just buff it out and like blend it so it's not a big line because those little brushes create like harsher lines and you really need to soften them. Now I'm just going to use these three colors. I like to use the three because of like just a transition it makes. It just kind of makes it more like seamless. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of the lighter one in the inner corner. It just brightens it. Oh my gosh, Paige, look how good she looks. She's just so beautiful. Now you just got to wipe off that fallout. And now I'm just doing a liner for her. She had her lashes already done, not by me. I actually can't remember who she said, but they're really nice. I, I think I know them. Anyways, that's the Tarte Oil. Looking a bit messy, that Tarte Oil in the shot. But that's okay, I should have cleaned it on the outside. But you know, it is what it is. The Tarte Oil hydrates and the primer helps create a barrier for the skin. And this is how you get your flawless foundation. Now I'm using the MAC Studio Fix because it just is quite like strong and long, like long lasting and pages going out. I could just really read what she said. She said photo shoot. <laughs> yes, she had to get photos and stuff um, for like her agency. So I needed to use some heavy duty and I always do because I always aim for longevity with my clients. Now this is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I do it in that really um, like triangular way just so it really lifts that area now the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour stick is my favorite I'm pretty sure like I've just run out now of that. Well, I'm not pretty sure I am sure It's just started to run out and I've used the whole thing. I absolutely love it So if I get to the end of a product, it means I like it's one of my faves but yeah, I needed to contour her jawline, her cheekbones, and I'm giving her a really slender nose because she has to like smile in photos. And um, when you smile, your nose kind of widens because your cheeks lift up. So having that nose um, contour is really helpful. Okay, so now we're just patting it in to the skin that was just like a setting powder. And now my favorite, the Give Me Sun. Oh my God, the MAC Give Me Sun is so, just look at her face, just be warmed up by it. Like, I love it. Now we're using that same transition color underneath and we're just kind of matching it into the edges of her eye. Now that darker color that I used before and found uh, foundation. Am I okay? I just saw the side of my nose and was so distracted by that. Ew, my nose. About that, the audio cut out. Now I'm just brushing with the Benefit brow to get her brows all staying in the same direction. She has like thick brow hair. Now I'm just going over it with the uh, powder just to kind of set it and really like get that shape in. And then once we've done that, we're going to do our Fenty Beauty Highlight. The Hustler is my fave. Always on the high points of the cheeks, the brow bone, and just kind of ties it in together instead of like cutting off the skin. A little bit of blushy blush on the front of the cheeks because we know Paige smiles for her photos because she's beautiful. LA Girl Cosmetics, the chocolate lip liner. Probably my favorite product of the year. But anyway, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.